Hey guys, today we're going to list Lindsay Lohan's stunning car collection. Let's get right into it. Number 1, Audi A5. Lindsay owns the cheapest car in her collection, a first generation Audi A5. She most likely owned this car at the start of her career. The 2.0 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine in the Audi A5 produces 211 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. In 2011, the car cost her around $44,000. The A5 Sportback is a stylish, fun-to-drive premium sedan that lacks the aggressiveness of the 349 HPS 5 Sportback. The A5 Sportback, a longer version of the A5 Coupe and convertible, shares the same powertrain setup with a turbocharged inline 4 mated to a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. The A5 Sportback 40 has 201 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque, while the A5 Sportback 45 has 60 horsepower and 40 pound-feet of torque. Even the base A5 Sportback feels plush thanks to a plethora of standard niceties like the high quality leather, a panoramic sunroof, and moody ambient lighting. While rivals such as the Mercedes-Benz C-Class and Genesis G70 may have more stylish interiors, the Sportback is betrayed by an incredibly clear and high-tech digital gauge display with available navigation handled by Google Earth imagery. Number 2 Porsche 911 Carrera S Convertible the actress's first supercar is a Porsche 911 Carrera S convertible which cost $132,000 when she bought it in 2011. The singer has this car in black and she has used it extensively during her pick days. The 2010 Porsche 911 Carrera balances luxury, power, and agility like a few cars can. Powered by a 480 horsepower twin turbo V6, this street demon accelerates from 0 to 60 mph in 3.3 seconds. The interior of the 911 remains sophisticated rather than complicated with a mix of buttons, knobs, and touchscreen controls, as well as a large center cup holder for the first time. The gauge cluster also departs from tradition, replacing mostly analog instruments with mostly digital ones. While these screens have some usability issues and can be obscured by the steering wheel, the central tachometer still employs a physical needle that tracks the engine's revs as they approach the heavenly 7400 RPM redline. The low-slung driving position and supportive front seats of the 911 are fantastic, and the steering wheel has a lot of adjustability. We only wish Porsche had used less piano black trim on the center console, added more interior cubby storage, and given this icon of the car a grander shifter rather than the stubby flipper found on automatic equipped models. Although the 911 can still seat four people in theory, the tiny back seats remain as unwelcoming to adults as they were when 911s first hit the road in the mid-1960s. Number 3 Porsche Cayenne The 2011 Porsche Cayenne is one of the most sporty SUVs on the market. With excellent handling, Lindsay has excellent taste in automobiles as evidenced by her ownership of this white SUV. The Cayenne S has a 4.8 liter 400 horsepower V8 engine and costs around $72,000 in 2010. The actress drives this car to events and parties, and it is unclear whether she still owns it. Porsche essentially provides a blank canvas for customers to customize as they see fit inside the Cayenne. Everything from the interior trim to the seatbelt colors and surface materials can be customized. A stylish gauge cluster with an analog tachometer flanked by two 7.0 inch screens that display selectable information greets the driver. The Cayenne offers desirable upgrades such as more supportive seats, massaging front seats, four zone climate control, and more. In addition to traditional options such as heated and ventilated front and rear seats, whereas the Audi Q7 and Volvo XC90 have three rows, the Porsche only has two. Number 4. Porsche Panamera We should appreciate the actress's good judgment in selecting her vehicles. The actress owns a supercharged Porsche Panamera, which can carry as much cargo as some full-size SUVs, but accelerates from 0 to 60 seconds faster than a Ferrari 612 Scalaghetti. The Porsche Panamera is a large luxury sedan. It weighs nearly 4,000 pounds, but has four doors, and is powered by a large V8 engine mounted up front. Its interior, it's lavish, with every modern technological convenience with acres of smooth, soft leather. The car costs approximately $145,000, making it the most expensive vehicle in her collection. Number five, Mercedes SL Class. The Mercedes AMG SL Class is an automotive icon with a history dating back to the original 300 SL Gullwing. Recent examples haven't been as impressive as expected, and a slew of newer two-door, four-seat, grand touring convertibles have rendered it obsolete. But, the new generation SL takes a sportier approach and will only be available with an AMG badge. Mercedes-Benz manufactures the SL Class, a grand tourer sports car. Did you notice the singer-actress has all of her luxury cars from German brands? 
This means she values both performance and luxury. The 5.5 liter V8 engine and the SL550, which the actress owns, produces 382 horsepower. The car costs $196,000, making it the most expensive vehicle in our actress's collection. That's all for today. We'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.